am Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today I'm going to demonstrate a real diva cut. And when I say I'm going to demonstrate, I mean I'm going to show you footage of a professional diva cut certified stylist because I'm not one. Now in this video, it will not be me getting a haircut this time, but it'll actually be my cousin, Brianna. My cousin has the exact same curl pattern as I do, so needless to say, her curls were popping. But as time went on, Brianna's curls actually had an affair with a flat iron. Now if you straighten your hair every day, every other day, twice a week, a lot, your curls are gonna think that you just don't like them. That's the message you're sending to your curls. So one day they might just be like, you know what, I'm out. And your curls just gonna give up on you. And that's kind of what happened to Brianna, just like many of you possibly watching. Now this is Brianna's hair before the diva cut. As you can see, there's straight pieces that just refuse to curl. She has some curls at the top, that's her new growth, that's her healthiest part of her hair. But now there's certain parts of her hair that just refuse to curl. So she just has random straight parts all over her head. Now when you get to this point, there's not much you can do besides cut it. Your hair is way too straight, you need to cut it. You can deep condition all you want, but there's a good chance that it's just dead and the curl pattern is not going to come back, so you're going to have to cut it. Now, because Brianna was tired of these random straight parts of her hair, she decided to get a diva cut. And luckily, I was actually in Florida, where she lived, at the same time, so I got to go with her to her diva cut. Now, for those of you that follow me on Snapchat, you already know about this haircut because you got to see it happening live. And if you guys want to see my day-to-day -day life, go ahead and follow me right now at Ms. Bianca Renee. That's my Snapchat and my Instagram and my Twitter. So let's be friends and go ahead and follow me. So now let's cut to the actual footage of the haircut. First thing you will notice when you walk into a real diva certified hairstylist salon is that she will have all of her accomplishments and her diva cut certificates right there on the wall. You shouldn't have to be searching through her drawers and looking under scissors to see if she's certified. The best part of this cut that I was so envious of is that she cut it while it was dry. That is the whole point of a diva cut. If I went in right now, she would just lift one of these curls and she would just cut wherever she thought needed to be cut. And that was probably like the thing I was so amazed by. She's not combing out her hair, like my haircut, and she's not cutting it while it's wet. So we are seeing the shape right now. We don't have to go home and wait for it to dry and pray that it doesn't shrink up 50 inches. This is how you're gonna look. Now while she's cutting her hair, she said, all right, this is just step one. The fact that she has steps proves she's a real diva certified because there's steps to the diva cut. I didn't get any steps when I got my hair cut. I got brush out, mess up. After she does the initial cut, she's gonna give it the shape. This is Brianna's shape just already. It looks so much better. Now, after this, now she's going to wash the hair. To wash her hair, she used the Diva Curl No Poo Shampoo in their one condition. So now we got a good wash going on, you know, the best part, it's all nice and relaxing. Then the stylist told Brianna to flip her head over and she's actually using a new method that I just recently heard about, which is applying the product to your hair while it's dripping wet. Now this is supposed to reduce frizz. Interesting, right? So I'm gonna try this myself and see how this method works for me. Stay tuned. But then after that, she put Brianna under the dryer and let that sit. The product she used was the Diva Curl Set It Free Spray and the Diva Curl Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. After the dryer, she went back to get any last minute little stragglers that might need to be cut. And then she got out the claw. Okay, no, it's the Diva Dryer. If you don't know what this is, I have a whole video on it. It's pretty awesome. Ta-da! Here is the final look of the cut. It looks so much better and you already see her curls trying to come back. It looks so much healthier and you look fabulous. I'm so proud of my cousin Brianna. Your hair looks amazing and your curls are only gonna get better with time as long as you don't touch that straightener. Now, if you happen to live in Florida, this salon is actually in Fort Myers, and it's called Hair by Maritza. I will put her information down below, so if you're ready to get that cut, 
go ahead and do that. But if you don't live in Florida, you don't have to fly all the way to Florida unless you got the coins too. But you can go on the Diva Curl website and there is like a search so you could find a certified Diva stylist in your city. Okay, now let's talk about price. Brianna's haircut cost about, I wanna say 65, somewhere between 65 and 75 dollars, which is a really good price for a professional diva haircut. You could go to Supercuts and get your $20 cut, but who knows how you're gonna look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have heat damage, just get the cut. You need to do it. I know you're scared, I know you don't want to. You're holding on to your length, but you're holding on to a long piece of dead hair. That's not very attractive. So would you rather have long, ugly dead hair, or short, pretty, beautiful, fabulous, amazing curls. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every single Sunday. So if you've got curls or you just like my videos in general, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment so I know that we're friends. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.